in the previous class we have seen about the circular cylindrical coordinate system wherein uh, we have three coordinates rho phi and z right you see any point as intersection of three mutually perpendicular surfaces uh, which are actually a cylindrical surface and two planes right uh, we have seen it we have also seen how a point is represented in terms of rho phi and z coordinates where rho is the radius z, phi is the azimuthal angle and z is the same as what you have seen in rectangular coordinate system and we have also seen the unit vectors in cylindrical coordinates that is a rho a phi and a z right we have seen uh, how they are i mean what is the what is their direction of each coordinates of each uh, unit vector in cylindrical coordinate system so we have also seen the operation on unit vectors the operation on unit vectors and what happens when you perform dot product and cross product on them then we have also seen the differential volume element in cylindrical coordinates right we have seen the differential volume element then we have seen the differential lengths differential surfaces and the differential volume of that volume element right we have seen these are the surfaces then these are the lengths as you can see on the surfaces the product of all the lengths will give you the volume okay next what you have uh, is the relationship between cylindrical coordinate system and rectangular coordinate system because rectangular coordinate system is what uh, you are well versed with then how to relate the cylindrical coordinates with rectangular coordinates in rectangular coordinates we have x y and z in cylindrical coordinates we have rho phi and z z is common among the two but the how to relate the other two for phi and uh, rho okay so if you take the cylindrical coordinate system okay if you take the cylindrical coordinate system and any point on cylindrical coordinate system okay it will be on the surface of a cylinder right so that point you know if you drop a perpendicular from that particular point downwards i mean on the xy plane okay so wherever it meets if you join that from the origin okay the angle what it makes is the phi okay that is the azimuthal angle phi when you drop a perpendicular from the point to the xy plane and join that line join that point with the origin with the line the angle that it makes is phi then uh, the distance of this p from the z axis is rho because that rho is nothing but the radius of the cylinder the radius of the cylinder means by what units the point p is away from the z axis that is rho the perpendicular distance okay this has to be perpendicular the angle between z axis and this is 90 degrees so then what you can do is uh, we need to get the values of x and y components okay we need to get the values of x and y components so to get the values of x and y components what you have to do is from this particular point you drop a perpendicular to the x axis and you drop drop a perpendicular to the y axis you can do it at this point p or you can also do it at uh, on the xy plane here okay on the xy plane you drop a perpendicular to x and y axis you can also do it like this you can draw it on the uh, at point p or if you drop a perpendicular and draw it here okay so this component is the x component okay the value in the x direction that is the x component of the particular point p then this length in the y direction is the y component okay z remains the same z is the same in uh, rectangular and cylindrical coordinates but you need to know the values of you need to get the values of x and y so how to get this you know that the angle made by this particular yeah the angle made by this length rho i mean this line with x axis is phi right this is phi from this what is sin phi you know sin phi sin phi is opposite side by the hypotenuse right sin phi is op opposite side by hypotenuse so the same thing you know it will be more clear if i if you view it from the top right so what actually here the angle between y and x is 90 degrees so this is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees here so if you view it 
from the top okay if you view it from the top it will be more clear so let me clear all this yeah from the top if you are viewing this so what do you get this is x right so here i have I have taken x and this is y so this is my y okay and this angle uh, this is rho okay this is rho and this angle is phi this angle is phi now from this uh, yeah this is a right angled triangle the angle is 90 degrees similarly in this particular if you consider this particular triangle what is sin phi from this you can write sin phi as sin phi is opposite side divided by hypotenuse what is the hypotenuse of this row what is the opposite side of phi this side what is this if, it, if it's a square you know if it's a rectangle what is this y yeah the same y so it is y divided by rho right y divided by rho from this what is y if you rearrange you know y is equal to rho sin phi that is why it is written y is equal to rho sin phi similarly if you take cos of this angle phi what is the cos of phi cos phi is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is x divided by rho so if you rearrange what is x x will be rho cos phi that's why we have x is equal to rho cos phi okay x is equal to rho cos phi so that is how you, you get the equivalence of the cylindrical coordinates in the rectangular coordinates x is equal to rho cos phi y is equal to rho sin phi and z is the same as in cylindrical coordinates that is z uh, if you want to find it in uh, values of rho in terms of x y and z you can see the rho is the diagonal of this particular rectangle okay its sides are x and y what is the diagonal of any rectangle or you can you can use the pythagoras theorem also what is the hypotenuse and if you consider this as a triangle what is the hypotenuse rho is equal to square root of x square plus y square right rho is equal to square root of x square plus y square that is uh, rho in terms of x and y component x and y components then you have phi what is the phi phi is this angle we want phi in terms of x and y right so in a triangle what is the angle phi you know if you take tan phi what is tan phi tan phi is opposite side divided by adjacent side that is y divided by x so you can write phi is equal to tan inverse of y by x right phi is equal to tan inverse of y by x okay then z is same as in rectangular coordinates z is same as z so this is how you can relate the rectangular and cylindrical coordinate systems that is x y and z with rho phi and z okay so next we will see how to represent a vector in the cylindrical coordinates just like you represent vector in rectangular coordinates you can represent any vector in cylindrical coordinates in this way since unit vectors are a rho a phi and a z the component scalar components will be capital a rho capital a phi and capital a z but normally you know uh, we already know the way we write rectangular coordinates as a x a y a z right a x a x a y a y a z a z so if you know this vector how to find the equivalent vector in cylindrical coordinates okay so you can do that uh, if you know this vector a rho can be found by using dot product multiply this vector a with unit vector a rho cap similarly this a phi can be found by multiplying this vector a with unit vector a phi cap so when you do this other things will become zero but only a phi component will be remaining similarly a z can be found by multiplying this vector with unit vector a z cap so what is uh, a multiplied by unit vector a z if you multiply this vector a with unit vector a z you just get a z because dot product of a x and a z is zero a y and a z is zero only a z and a z will be one so what remains is only a z so a z is the same in cylindrical and rectangular coordinates so if you expand this that means if you substitute the value of vector a as in rectangular coordinates 
you get this. A row is, this is AX, AX, AY, AY plus AZ, 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 what we have seen here, dot A row cap, right? Dot A row cap. In place of this vector A, I have written this. Then you perform dot operation on individual unit vectors. So AX multiplied by AX dot A row. Okay, AX dot A row plus AY multiplied by AY dot A row. Okay, plus there will be another term actually that is AZ multiplied by AZ dot A row. What is AZ dot A row? A row and AZ are mutually perpendicular, right? A row and AZ are mutually perpendicular. So the angle between them is 90 degrees. Cos 90 is zero. That's why this particular term is zero. So we are uh, omitting it. We are not writing it. Okay. AZ component will be zero in A row. So that's why we are not writing it. Next, if you expand this expression, A5, it will be AX, AX plus AY, AY plus AZ, AZ in place of vector A dot A5. So just like we have done it for dot A row, we are getting A5. here. Then AZ, if you write this vector A dot AZ, so vector A, you know, it's I'm not written here because finally what you get is just AZ. As I said, the AZ component is the same in cylindrical and rectangular coordinates. But now what about these vectors? AX dot A row, AY dot A row, AX dot A5 and AY dot A5. So we need to find this. Okay. We need to find these dot products of unit vectors of two different coordinate systems. So in order to do this, we can take projections or yeah, we will consider the XY plane. XY plane is actually the horizontal plane for sake of understanding. We have drawn it like this. Okay, X is the axis that, that is actually coming out of the screen. We have shown it like this here as a normal two dimensional system that is X and Y like this. So the angle, if this is the radius, right? If this is a way, if this is a point at this particular point, then the angle is phi in this direction. It is from X to Y, that is angle is phi. Okay, in the X direction, the unit vector is AX. In the radial direction, the unit vector is A rho, okay? And in the direction of A phi, so it, it is in this direction, the unit vector will be A phi. Unit vector is A phi. So this is the opposite direction. So that's why the unit vector is minus A phi, as you can see here, okay? So then uh, we need to get the values of products of unit vectors. Uh, what is AX dot A rho? What is AX dot A row? AX dot A row. AX dot A row will be magnitude of AX. That is one unit vector magnitude is one. Magnitude of A row is one multiplied by cos of angle between them. What is the cos? What is the angle between AX and A row? As you can see, it is phi. It is the same, right? Phi. Cos of angle between them will be phi. So it is cos phi. Okay, that's why it is cos phi. Now, what is AX dot A phi? Okay, what will be AX dot A phi? What is AX dot A phi? So what is A phi? A phi is the angle here. Okay, this angle. What is the angle between AX and A phi? This is, this angle is phi plus this angle is 90 degrees. So the angle between AX and A phi will be 90 plus 5. What is cos of 90 plus 5? You know, cos of 90 plus 5 is minus sin 5. Okay, it is minus sin 5. Similarly, what is ax dot az? ax dot az, you already know, because that we have not shown here. Z is that axis which is perpendicular to all these vectors. Okay, the, that's why any, any of these unit vectors multiplied by az will give you 0. That's why ax dot a5 will be 0. Okay. Okay, so this is the AY axis. Okay, this is the, yeah, sorry, this is the AY direction. This is the AY direction. Okay, this is A row direction. This is A phi direction in the direction of phi, A phi direction. Okay, so now we need to, we are trying, trying to find the unit, product of unit vectors with AY. Okay, what is AY dot A row? This is AY. This is A row. What is AY dot A row? 
ay dot a rho is magnitude of ay multiplied by magnitude of a rho multiplied by cos of the angle between them. What is this angle? ay dot a rho is cos of this angle. What is this angle? If this angle is phi, this the angle, this total angle is 90 degrees. So this angle will be 90 minus phi. Okay, 90 degree minus phi. What, what is what is cos of 90 minus phi? Cos of 90 minus phi is sin phi. Right? Cos of 90 minus phi is sin phi. Similarly, what is a y dot a phi? A y dot a phi will be uh, magnitude of a y multiplied by magnitude of a phi. That is 1 multiplied by cos of angle between them. Cos of angle between a y and a phi is phi. That's why this will be cos phi. Okay, so this way you get this. Then uh, unit vectors multiply with az that will give you zero because that is mutually perpendicular. Yeah, this is how we got ax dot a rho. We have seen it as cos phi. Ax dot a phi will give you minus sin phi. Ay dot a rho will give you sin phi. Similarly, ay dot a phi will give you cos phi. Ax dot az, ay dot az, or az dot a rho, or az dot a phi, all are zeros. Okay. This is the way we can represent it in a table. But az dot az will be 1. A unit vector with itself will give 1. That's why az dot az will give you 1. Okay. So this is how you can relate the coordinates of a rectangular system, a rectangular coordinate system and cylindrical coordinate system. And also you can convert a vector from a rectangular coordinate system into cylindrical coordinate system by uh, using these dot products. Okay. So we will take some examples to understand this better. Suppose uh, we are given with a point. Okay, this is one example from your book. Uh, we are asked to find the rectangular coordinates of the point C. The C is given as rho is equal to 4.4, phi is equal to minus 115 degrees, and z is equal to 2. Okay, so while doing this, the C when it is given as rho, phi, and z, that means it is cylindrical coordinates, right? It is cylindrical coordinates. We are asked to get the rectangular coordinates of that particular point. So first you write the given things. First we'll write the given things. It is given rho is equal to 4.4, phi is equal to minus 115 degrees, and z is equal to we are asked to get the rectangular coordinates. Rectangular coordinates in the sense x, y, and z. So we can do it when using the formula that we have. R is equal to rho cos phi. So you can find it. Rho is 4.4 multiplied by cos 115 degrees. So what do you get? So I, ex I expect you to calculate it and tell me the answer. Okay. So I won't be finding the answers and telling you. You have to complete this thing. I will just tell you how to uh, perform it. Okay. Then what is y? y will be rho sine phi, right? Rho sine phi. Rho sine phi is nothing but 4.4 sine 115 degrees right so you can do it and z is equal to z z is the same z is equal to 2 it is the same it will not change so whatever you get you know whatever you get you express that c in those coordinates c of x y z will be equal to c of you just write whatever you get here whatever the x component you get and y component you get and the z component z is 2 okay so the next point that is given here is to give the cylindrical coordinates of the point D, which is given as x is equal to minus 3.1, minus 2.6, as y is equal to minus 2, y is equal to plus 2.6, and z is equal to minus 3. So it is given in x, y, z coordinates. You are uh, you are asked to find the cylindrical coordinates. That means uh, you need to get rho phi and z. X, y, z are given. So in the point D, x, y, z are given. You first write that whatever given things. Okay, so then you need to get the cylindrical coordinates. That means uh, rho, phi, and z. What is rho? Rho will be equal to square root of 
x square plus y square. So whatever the value you have of x, you use that. x and y, you use that and get the value of rho. Then phi will be equal to tan inverse of y by x. Okay, tan inverse of y by x. You perform this, you will get that value in angles, uh, in degrees or radians, whatever mode you have kept. Okay. So then z will be equal to z. Z will be the same. Z is minus three. It will be same. Z will be equal to z. That is two. Uh, that is minus three in this case. In point. So this is how you get the. Uh, I mean, the same point in a different coordinate system by using these expressions. The next point is given as yeah. You are asked to specify the distance from r from c to d. Okay. Distance from C to D can be given by the distance vector R C D. You already know how to find the distance vector R C D, and you can do that only uh, when you use a particular coordinate system, only one coordinate system. So since you know, uh, you have already found the, you will have found the rectangular coordinates of point C, and rectangular coordinates of point D is already given. So using those components, you can find the distance. Okay, using those uh, in rectangular coordinates, you can find the distance R C D. Okay, I hope you will complete this. Next problem is to transform the vector into cylindrical coordinates. The vector is given as b. This is given in rectangular coordinates. Okay, this is given in rectangular coordinates. We are asked to convert this into cylindrical coordinates. To convert this into cylindrical coordinates, you know the in cylindrical coordinates the same vector it can be written as b. That is b rho a rho. Plus b phi a phi plus b z a z, right? So how to get the b rho component? How to get the b rho component? B rho component can be obtained by using the dot product of this b with a rho. You have to take this b into consideration, right? Dot product of b with a rho. So what is b? B is given as y a x. Minus x a y plus z a z plus z a z. You find the dot product of this with a rho. So what do you get is you get y of uh, a x dot a rho. Minus x of a y dot a rho plus z a z dot a rho. So what is a x dot a rho? Using the previous table, a x dot a rho will be cos phi, a y dot a rho will be sin phi, and a z dot a rho will be zero. So this term is zero. So what we get is the b rho component will be a x dot a rho is cos phi minus a y dot a rho will be sin phi. So it is sorry uh, y cos phi minus x sin phi. That is b rho component. So we need to express everything in terms of Uh, rho phi and z. So what is y? Y is rho sine phi. Y is rho sine phi. In terms of uh, cylindrical coordinates, y is equal to rho sine phi. Then you have this cos phi. Okay, rho sine phi, cos phi. What is x? X is rho cos phi. Okay, x is rho cos phi. So minus rho cos phi. Then you have this sine phi already into sine phi. Now what is this? Rho sine phi cos phi minus rho sine phi cos phi. So they are cancelling each other. That's why this will be zero. Okay, so that is zero. Similarly, you need to get the b phi component. B phi component. What is b phi? Okay. So what is b phi? B phi is this vector b dotted with 
a phi vector b dotted with a phi so if you perform that you will get y y of ax dot a phi minus x of ay dot a phi. Okay, so what is ax dot a phi? ax dot a phi will be minus sin phi and ay dot a phi is cos phi, right? ax dot a phi is minus sin phi and ay dot a phi is cos phi. So if we substitute it, so you will actually get this minus y sin phi minus x cos phi. Now substitute what is y, y is equal to rho sin phi. Okay, if I substitute y is equal to rho sin phi, y, it will be rho sin phi multiplied by sin phi. So it will be minus rho sine square phi minus x will be equal to rho cos phi. It will be rho cos phi into cos phi. That will be minus rho cos square phi. Okay, minus rho cos square phi. So if I take minus rho as common, in the brackets you will have sine square phi plus cos square phi. You know sine square phi plus cos square phi is equal to 1. That's why this will be equal to minus rho. So what we have obtained is b rho component is 0, b phi component is minus rho, bz component will be same, bz component will be whatever you have here, that is z, okay, bz component will be z, it is the same. So we can write, sorry, bz component will be uh, z, sorry. Z component will be I'll just write it here B rho component is 0 B phi component is minus rho and Bz component is Z. So from this you can write the vector in cylindrical coordinates as Bz that is equal to 0 a rho, I can just leave it, minus rho a phi plus z a z, b z a z, that is nothing but z a z. This way we can write uh, or you can convert any vector from one coordinates into the other. Okay, so this is all about the cylindrical coordinate system. In the next class, we will uh, deal with another coordinate system that is spherical coordinate system okay and we'll also draw a parallel uh, between the rectangular coordinates cylindrical coordinates and spherical coordinates and relate each other right align the session for today